Hey y'all, so yesterday, April 26th, my sister had a baby, and <clears throat> now I've considered myself an uncle for the last four years, because when I met Han, I met Coda, and I've been his uncle ever since, um, you know that saga, and I've been an uncle to my friend's children uh, for almost three years now. But uh, today became a blood uncle, which feels no different than my friends having kids. But I guess everyone and their mother has been texting me, congrats, uncle. And I'm like, I've been an uncle. I was married. I, I was an uncle already. I've been an uncle. But anyway, I'm officially by blood an uncle, which is crazy to think about. Um, And I have a nephew now, um, which I'll tell you the story about this dream. <clears throat> so, uh, cause my sister and her husband did not find out, well, they found out, but they did not tell anyone. So we've been waiting for this moment to find out. And I've had a suspicion it's been a boy for a while. And then about a month ago, I want to say it was, I had a dream where my sister had had the baby. It was a boy. We were at the beach. You know how dreams are. It's never really, like, realistic, but I was carrying this newborn baby up on my shoulder, and I was walking along the beach, and I ran into Coda at the beach, and in my dream, I thought to myself, I'm with both of my nephews, and he showed me a sandcastle, and it was, like, a really cute, sweet moment, really powerful dream for me. I get visited by him in my dreams a lot, <laughs> And so ever since that dream, I'm like, it has to be a boy. That was just such a beautiful dream. And I was right. I have a nephew, Rowan Michael. And so for the last probably like six or seven years, I forget when exactly I found this onesie in um, a donation thing at Rise Again where I used to volunteer. But I've had it with me for a long time. I've carried it around from place to place. I've been waiting for someone to have a boy because it says, cutest nephew ever. I finally can use this shirt. I'm so excited. Uh, it's a three month size. So it'll probably be a little while before he can wear it. But I'm excited that it's finally coming out of the box that I've had it in. Like you can see the crease lines on it because it's just been folded in a box. For about literally, I think like seven years. It's, it's been a while. I think I've, I don't remember exactly when I found it, but I know it ha I've had it. It's come to every apartment with me. It's gone through my marriage with me. This thing has lived a life <laughs> in a box with me. And now it gets to be worn by my cutest nephew ever. So I'm super excited. And uh, I will definitely share when I do get to see him in this little thing. Um... I'm hoping to see him soon. I told her, whenever you are ready for me, I will be there. So my parents just headed down for the weekend to help out. So first baby in the family. So that's exciting. <clears throat> On one side of my family, it's the first great grandchild. For granny, it is the 32nd. So that just tells you how big one side of the family is. Um... But anyway, yes, yeah, so that's my happy news. Now I've got five nieces and nephews, if you count them all up. Because I count Coda. I will always count Coda. I'll forever be his uncle. He's forever my nephew. No matter who keeps us from talking or not, uh, that connection will remain. And then I have Maeve and June. And I have Amara, who was just born last month. And now I have Rowan. Oh, if my phone wasn't the thing recording, I would show you uh, my albums in my phone. I have one for each child. So I have a complete set now, and then there's one for Ruben. But I have all my nieces and nephews in albums in my phone. So if you're not, you're not an uncle if you don't have albums of your uh, nieces and nephews in your phone. <laughs> But anyway, I'm very happy. And uh, let me tell you, it has stoked my baby fever times 100. Uh, all these people having babies around me. Like, my baby fever was already peaking last year. And now it's just like continually. Ugh. So, uh, 
But yeah, that's the update. And uh, yeah, so I'm an uncle. Even though I've been I've been an uncle, but I'm an uncle within my own family now. <laughs> um, yeah. <sighs> so that's my thoughts today on this beautiful day. Um, and funnily enough, I actually know a lot of people who have birthdays around this time of year, so just fits and uh, brings a little sunshine into April. For our family, which is usually a grief heavy month. So, and uh, yeah, my five years sober is coming up. So, I'll be making a video about that very soon. It's on Sunday. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Wild times. But, uh, happy nephew. And uh, one day I will probably clip part of this video out to make a birthday video for him. Like, on this day, my nephew was born. <laughs> Hi, future Rowan. It's your uncle. <clears throat> anyway, that's all I have to say. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.